Time for our first of two main events. Your referee, once again, Ronnie Washington. <laughs> I wish somebody would save us from this man, RVK. Ryan Von Cool in here to face Marty Janetti. He's saying that's right. Jason, something about a lap dance with Jason Styles. You know anything about that? Uh, we'll be finding out uh, later on tonight with the Chickadees. Wow. RVK is looking good. He always looks good. You know, look at that roll. That's about the only good thing on RVK that I can I can like, I'm telling you. This little egomaniac here has been a great cruiserweight champion. Climbed the ranks of big time wrestling. Now he's wrestling Marty Jannetty, but I think he's going to go to school tonight, if you ask me. In Vegas, baby. It's RBK Ryan Von Kuhl. Von Kuhl has been a tag team champion. He has been on numerous occasions a cruiserweight champion he has really made an impact in the, the short time he's been here about what uh five years dragon dave well you know he's one of the best he, he uh he sets the tone uh for all the other uh, wrestlers that are coming into the w as a matter of fact they should be looking well he is a benchmark that's absolutely right and it, it shows that there is not a glass ceiling in big time wrestling there's room for advancement so all the younger wrestlers You've got a chance. You've just got to prove yourself by winning in the win column. That's it. And here we go. We're awaiting former tag team champion, former intercontinental champion, one half of the Rockers, and a great wrestler in his own right, Marty Gennetti. Is RVK is getting on his horse tonight because he knows he's got his hands full with a superstar indeed. Yes, of course, Marty Gennetti. Uh, uh, there, he, there he is right there, one half of uh, uh, a great uh, tag team that I remember from back in the day. Um, the Rockers with uh, Leaf Cassidy. Remember that? Wasn't Leaf Cassidy? Oh my God! Leaf Cassidy, one of the new the new Rockers. Wasn't he from Eight Is Enough? What? what you don't, you don't remember Leaf Cassidy? How can you not remember Leaf Cassidy? You don't know Leaf Cassidy, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. I remember Leaf Cassidy, but I, he wasn't with, with the original Rockers. That was, I believe, Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty comprised the original Rockers. That was before my time. That was before I was born. I'm sorry. Oh, brother. Marty Jannetty here, great superstar. Ryan Von Kuhl biding his time in the ring. He's pretty aggressive, though. Can't turn your back on him for long. I'm telling you, I've seen this kid bring out Pearl Harbor jobs. Oh, look at him. Cheer for me. One of the most popular wrestlers ever to grace the... The ring here in big time wrestling, shaking hands with Ronnie Washington. Von Cool out of that corner in a hurry. Did you see him? Oh boy, I think he's uh, he's even backing up a little. Did you see that? Did you see Marty Janetti trying to trying to pass a twenty dollar bill to Ronnie Washington? To Marty Janetti couldn't have a twenty dollar bill in his tights because I saw you with him five minutes before he went on. Well, I saw I saw him trying to slip something to Ronnie Washington. Total cash in your pocket. Where did that come? From? Don't worry about that. There you go. See, I told you. See what he said? I tried to bribe Ronnie Washington with 20 bucks. That's not what he said. He said something about a house. He's trying to buy a house with $20. $20 in the Bay Area? Well, maybe now. I don't know. Marty Gennetti and RVK right here. Checking them out. There you go. I believe it's the referee's job, though, to check out the wrestlers, but I think uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let that go for the uh, sake of decorum. RVK probably has something to say. Thank God the monitor is not down there because that guy, oh, there he is. He complains morning, noon, and night. That's his favorite hobby besides wrestling. Right now, Ryan Von Kubel demands silence so that he can concentrate on the match, and I think the, the people should oblige. Well, he has no reason to say that to the fans at all. I mean, they, they've been on this kid, but, you know, we've seen an attitude. Look at him really go, though. Boy, he's really jawjacking with the fans. Oh, I wouldn't do that, Marty. I wouldn't turn my back on RVK. I've seen him Pearl Harbor half of the talent he's, he's ever wrestled. But no, what, I think, there you go, right here. Look at this. Not too many accolades for Ryan Von Cole. 
th there should be silence when Ryan Von Kuhl is wrestling so that he can concentrate on the match. Well, that's one thing about big time wrestling, folks. We encourage, in a positive manner, we encourage the folks to let the wrestlers know. Now, here we go. Now, there's the cheer of the night for Marty Jannetty and for Ronnie Washington. I got confused, Dragon Dave. Who's who? Now, you see, now, Ryan Von Kuhl should. should uh, Demand silence right here. You don't see Ryan Von Kuhl going over to the fans' place of work and, 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 ch and chanting for them. He wouldn't dare. Here we go. We're going to have a lockup. I wouldn't take my eye off this Von Kuhl for one second. Oh, there's a lockup and a headlock by Ryan Von Kuhl. Standing side headlock. Beautiful maneuver out of it into a top wrist lock into a headlock by the former Intercontinental Champion, Tag Team Champion, Marty Jannetty. Von Kuhl with a headlock takeover. Yes, one half of the Tag Team Champions, along with Luke Cassidy. Oh, brother. Well, spoiled Brad is one way to describe Von Kuhl. And there we see one of the reasons why kicking the ropes after he was out-wrestled. Oh, there we go. Little uh, high five with Alan Bolte, now a low five. Marty Jannetty making friends wherever he goes worldwide, and that's why he's a very popular, gregarious young man. Yes, and right, right now... Uh, uh, Marty Jannetty, uh, you know, is, uh, I think he's toying with the, with the Ryan Van Kool, But, you know, you can't do that easily. Ryan Van Kool is a veteran. Well, yeah, he's a very young man. He wrestles like a veteran. He hasn't had the years under his belt, but he's had the experience. And that's what makes Ryan Van Kool a dangerous wrestler because he has worn the gold in two out of the three categories, big-time wrestling. He has beaten some of the best that big-time wrestling has to offer. He might be a younger guy, but... He's really, you know, jumped into the pool with both feet on the deep end. Now, could you imagine what a win against Marty Jannetty would look like under him? Oh, God, it would make him impossible. He's already bad enough. It would make him impossible to live with. I mean, he would definitely have to be in the short line for, for, for a Cruiserweight title match if he, if he beats him. Well, that and maybe the heavyweight championship of the world won by uh, Jason Styles. For a long, long time, Jason's been the champion, and with good reason. He knows every, every inch of that ring. Drop down now. Marty Gennetti, high elevation leapfrog. Oh, look at that. Monkey flip reverse. Von Kuhl in trouble, and there, there is a beautiful rockers-type arm drag by Marty Gennetti. Yes, yes. Right now, uh, Marty Gennetti uh, seems to have things under control. And, he, you know, he's, he's the veteran of, of the, and as far as these two men go. But like I said before, a win against Marty Jannetty would place Ryan Von Kuhl up the stratosphere. Well, Ryan Von Kuhl has been doing his homework. I know that he has purchased every single tape. He can get his grubby little hands on. Actually, purchased. He's borrowed from Big Time Wrestling Library every tape with the rockers on it. Marty Jannetty as IC champion that he could get. He studied this man, Ryan Von Kuhl. One of the things you don't know about him, folks, is he does his homework. He studies tapes. He watches wrestling. Leapfrog. He tries for a reverse. Oh! Tries for that reverse monkey flip. Gets a fist. And now in an arm drag.